Hi again, everyone. This video is going to show you how to set up and create a QR coupon tab. So what you're going to want to do is start in step one and add a new tab. We'll go ahead and say for a QR coupon, or you can name it whatever you want for the tab title. The tab function, though, you want to make sure it's the QR coupons tab. It's all the way down there. Choose an icon, save your changes. Then moving on to step two, content. There's the QR coupon tab we just created. And we're going to add a coupon here. So we'll say, since this is for a bar, we'll say buy four drinks, get fifth free, or something like that. QR code could be really anything. It's really just going to be when you view the code, that's what you're going to see. And then you're also going to want to choose the time frame of this. So start date and start with today's date. If you want it to be ongoing, just leave that end date blank. Or if you only want it for a week or so, you could set it up for, the, um, for a week, two weeks, however long you want. Can be used again? Yes. Basically meaning that once the user has redeemed the coupon tab, it'll restart basically and they can use it again. So the check-in target amount, we're going to want that for four because they got to buy four before they get the fifth for free. And then hours before next check-in, that's how long it's going to take for them to be able to redeem the next um, notch in the coupon. So basically, how many times between the first time they use it, between the second time, we'll say maybe 24 hours, you know, they have to come back and use it basically. And the coupon is active. And it was a coupon description will be once the coupon has been redeemed. This is what users will see. Since enjoy your fifth drink on us. And you can also add an image too. Save your changes. Okay. If you don't choose an image, then this is just a templated one that'll get put in there for you. And let's go ahead and preview that. Okay. Click on more. There's a coupon we just made. Buy four drinks. See, it'll be locked. And then what you're gonna have to do is actually click on scan, but there's no camera because it's using the previewer tool on the website. So. That's about it. Okay, thanks.